What do poor countries do better than rich countries? Raise kids better. Children in wealthier countries are entitled by lawnmower parents and the kids want more, more. Children raised in poorer countries have better morale as, are more resilient and responsible and appreciate and make do with what they have. The founder of Dubai, Sheikh Rashid, was asked about the future of his country. He replied, my grandfather rode a camel, my father rode a camel, I ride a Mercedes, my son rides a Land Rover, and my grandson is going to ride a Land Rover, but my great-grandson is going to have to ride a camel again. It's a bad question really. Many poor countries do many things better, but it's not always because they're poor. Are you looking for something specifically good as a result of them being poor? I guess community lifestyle? But even then, it's not true across the board so it's not true to your question. If you just want to list every poor country that does at least one good thing better than a richer country, that's a boring question because there would be thousands of answers. Weird informal ways to earn and save money. Some of these things would honestly be handy in the West. Like committees roskas. Community bonds too, because people have to depend on each other, but this can be a double-edged sword. Tiny businesses and corners. Like, often, when I see a small patch of land in an area with a lot of foot traffic I can visualize the tea stall or vegetable cart or cloth with small items for sale that could be in that spot. Lived in Malaysia for a decade then went to the first world country of Australia. One thing I immediately noticed was the amount of drug addicts and homeless people in Australia. Malaysia may be a crappy developing country in many ways it is, but it has nowhere the amount of homeless people and drug addicts as first world Australia has. Despite Australia having all that mining money to spend, poor nations might be particularly good at resilience, ingenuity, and community cohesion. People in less developed countries frequently share resources, establish deep ties to their communities, and show perseverance in the face of adversity. Furthermore, there might be a stronger focus on environmentally friendly methods and a need to rely on customary wisdom to survive. Motorcycle clubs, not the kind with the vest and patches but where you pay a membership fee and the oldest standing member gets a motorcycle at the cost of the membership fee. In poorer countries there is always a pool of young new drivers, and unlike rich countries they aren't all trying to get some $20,000 USD motorcycle, so it usually works out pretty quickly. Sometimes, surprising things. After a devastating cyclone in Orisla, India has put together a comprehensive planning and disaster management system to cyclones, and tsunamis, that's in many respects better than the US response to Katrina, and also recent hurricanes. They are more entrepreneurial. People like me do the safe path of university and blah blah blah. Immigrants are much more likely to start a business. Usually a micro-business. Or they have city hustles where they trade phones or something like that. Rich countries put a lot of their profits into dumb things such as extremely inefficient housing and car-centric and the result is quality of life is not as significantly better as it should be. Internet, at least compared to Germany. I've had better download speed in small towns in Bolivia than in Berlin. I just can't fathom how a first world country has such a shamefully slow system. Make more with less. For example, food. Some of the most tasteful dishes are done with no more than three ingredients, but using different techniques and making most out of your arsenal. Being from South Africa and traveled around Europe, I would say we are more hospitable. In Europe I had to stop myself from greeting people when I walked past them, smiley face. They are happy with the little things and worship freedom much more. They know better than rich countries that nothing can be taken for granted. Happy New Year! Healthier food when I was living in Haiti I was eating more than I would in America and still lost weight. Cause most all the food I ate there were natural. I think poor countries have more flexibility in terms of food choices. The hygiene is questionable but it's really cheap once you get adjusted to the taste. Amazing parties on very low budgets. All they need is a decent speaker, cheap alcohol and big pot of whatever they can whip up with a little bit of money. Unity amongst friends and also good interpersonal relationships. In the US it's way too difficult to make friends, most people are closed off. Caring about family values, generations live together and are there for each other instead of seeing their parents once a year for Christmas. For the undeveloped world, industrial pollution. It's the rich countries that are the worst polluters, and they dump it on the entire world. Rich countries taxpayers pay for lazy people don't work, lazy people ask government take money. Poor countries lazy people have to work. Communal living. The Ubuntu principle is very much practiced in poorer countries than they are in rich countries. Coping with mindset. 
Nobody in third world countries are on antidepressants and suicide rates are generally lower. Feed flies. Edit who's downvoting this? You don't think flies in the third world are incredibly well fed? Recycling. Poor people will use that chair for 50 years. And we'll find 20 uses for an empty plastic bottle. Why are people praising the high birth rates of poorer countries? That is absolutely absurd to me. Political correctness, or to be precise, lack of. Mofos be too hungry to care about your fifis. Purchasing parity of food. In some rural areas of China you can earn a meal for 50 US cents. Shit in the street right next to a food vendor. Something I saw in India repeatedly. Mentality. Go to a cheap country. Everyone greets you and wishes you a nice day. Cleaning their bum hole with soap and water instead of wiping with tissue paper. They enjoy every little things with family they doesn't waste food and time. Feed their upper crust. Even the poorest country feeds its billionaires. Take care of their neighbors, friends and family. Also, go to church. Dig up more natural resources and getting paid almost nothing. Having fun with literally anything available or reachable. No shitty, gray, foggy winter. Okay. Russia has that, too. Food. Indian, Chinese and Arab cuisine is next level. Not destroy the atmosphere for the rest of the world. Rich countries also have poor versa.